Hey everyone, it's Mojax back in the DJ City UK lab. Something a little bit different for you today. Regular viewers will know that I'm not a producer. I don't make my own music. I've never really had the desire to do so. All I've ever wanted to be is a DJ, someone who shares great music with audiences. That's what I'm about. So whilst I do have a bit of experience with production stuff, in general, if you ask me about things like modular synths, I'm not gonna be able to help you. But there is one area of production where I do have quite a lot of experience and that is in the recording side of things whether making these videos or doing radio shows everything like that yeah i've got a hand in the game so when biodynamic decided to send me these three products i was quite excited let's get into it like i suspect many of you the biodynamic product i had most experience with before this review was the dt100 headphones they've been around forever and there's always been a few pairs knocking about in every radio studio i've ever worked in the sound is not exactly pleasurable being very flat but they do offer superb clarity in the mid-range making them ideal for speech and vocal work plus they're also bomb proof and completely rebuildable which makes them last forever but it's not the 1970s anymore and producers in 2019 are looking for a little more from their monitoring than just clean mids. So I've been testing the DT1770 Pro, the company's highest end closed back studio headphones. They sell for a fairly eye-watering $600, making them the most expensive cans I've ever used. But that's by no means a crazy price in today's market. And if you do a lot of monitoring in headphones, a top quality pair is always going to be a great investment. Bayer offer another set of cans at the same price, the DT1990 Pro. Those are open-backed as opposed to the closed-back 1770s. Open-back is great for really transparent and airy sound, but personally I lean towards closed-back as it isolates much better from outside noise and can therefore be used for live sound monitoring or in other noisy environments. It just makes for a more flexible pair of headphones. The construction is superb, as you would hope at this price. As with biodynamic headphones of old, every part is replaceable, but after a few months use I can't see any particular weak points. The steel headband is sturdy and the way they mount to the cups is very smart. The cable is connected via a 3-pin mini XLR plug and the 1770s come with both straight 3 meter and 5 meter coiled cables in the box. It's worth noting that they have an impedance of 250 ohms, which is pretty high. That means you'll need a well-amped source to get the best out of them. They're not going to be ideal for, say, plugging directly into a phone. Also provided is a sturdy case, which holds the headphones, the cables, and an extra set of provided ear pads. And that's where we move into the sound. Switching between the ear pads does make a noticeable difference. The pleather ones really seal things up, offering superb isolation from outside noise and tightening up the bass. The velour ones have a more open and airy sound, but you lose a bit of impact on the low end. I found myself using the velour ones most of the time, as I preferred their more neutral profile, but it's easy to swap them out for different situations. The DT1770 Pros feature Biodynamics Tesla coil technology, named after the pioneering physicist. Their site features a whole page of explanation as to what that technology is, but suffice to say, the company believes the tech inside these things offers their best sound to date, and having spent many hours listening to them, I can understand why. The sound is balanced, crisp and clear across the wide frequency range. For a closed back headphone, the sound is remarkably airy, and I can't ever imagine myself wanting to choose the open back 1990s over these. I talk about ear fatigue a lot when I review audio products, and that's because as someone who's been working with sound longer than I care to remember it's really important to me there's nothing worse than headphones or speakers which feel like they're battering your ears after a few hours use and that's an area i found the 1770s to excel in especially with the velour pads i can use them comfortably for very long sessions without my ears getting too tired and of course, physical characteristics will have an impact on that comfort too. There's no doubt the 1770s are big, hefty headphones, even by over-the-ear standards. There's nothing much in the way of cup rotation either, but I found the combination of the pads and the headband pretty comfy on my fairly large head, with enough clamping force to keep things locked in, but without feeling like my head was being squeezed. Overall, the DT1770 Pros are a big investment, and whether that cost is justified will be down to your situation. If a significant proportion of your monitoring is done in headphones, then spending a decent chunk of change on the tools to do it seems worthwhile to me. And with the 1770 Pros, you're certainly getting a top quality tool. Biodynamic also sent me the Creator 24 pack to try out. This includes the DT240 Pro headphones and the Fox USB mic, along with some bundled recording software. 
The DT240 Pros are obviously not in the same league as the 1770s, with a street price of around about $80 to $100. In fact, they're the most affordable headphones I've reviewed to date. They feature mostly plastic construction with a steel headband, but are certainly able to take a beating. Although Biodynamic don't sell them as a DJ product, I did take them out to a number of gigs, throwing them in my bag with little care, and they're still as good as new. The cable is replaceable with a 2.5mm jack at the headphone end, and although it's not lockable, it held in just fine in my testing. I definitely found the DT240 Pros to be more at home in the studio than in the DJ booth. They have an over-ear, closed design, but isolation is not that strong, meaning I had to crank the volume more than I would like, and at that point the sound started to degrade a little. In a more controlled environment, however, the sound is pretty flat and clarity is excellent. For under $100, if you need a decent set of cans for a home studio or recording on the go, the 240 Pros will do the job nicely. The Fox mic is the more expensive part of the Creator 24 bundle, with a street price of around about $150. It's a large diaphragm condenser mic, which connects directly to your computer with a USB Type-C connection, so no extra audio interface is required. It even works with iOS and Android devices too, so if you need to record on the road, you're totally covered. There's a high, low gain switch on the rear, so you can work with different sound levels. It has a cardioid polar pattern, which means pickup is focused heavily on the front of the mic and dramatically reduced at the rear. This makes the Fox excellent at rejecting extra room noise, which you don't want in your recordings. It comes with a clever windshield, which just clips onto the front, and a little desk stand, although I use it with a cheap mic arm, the type of which can be found for around 10 bucks on Amazon. The Fox also features a mute button and a 3.5mm headphone output with a knob to go between direct monitoring and computer audio. That provides a nice clean signal and I found it to be very helpful when using it with my iMac with its headphone socket stuck around the back of the computer. I've not had the best experiences with USB mics in the past, having never really found one I like, but I'm super happy with the Fox. Since moving house in 2017, I've really struggled getting decent audio for these voiceovers in my home studio, which is in the roof and has terrible acoustics. But with the Fox, it's literally plug and play. I record, level the audio up, apply a limiter, and that's it. Zero further processing is required. When I listen back to some of my older voiceovers on these videos, I kind of cringe, but since I started using the Fox, I've been happy every time. If you want an idea of how it sounds, well, you're listening to it now. I only have one complaint, and that's that the supplied USB-C to USB-A cable is a little short at just one meter, but they're standard connectors, so that's easily remedied. Put simply, if you need a quality condenser mic for radio shows, podcasts, or even vocal recordings, and you don't want to mess around with external interfaces, I really can't recommend the Fox enough. It is fantastic. So there you go, my take on three products from Biodynamic, starting with the 1770 Pro. Probably the nicest headphones I've ever used, also probably the most expensive, but whether they are good value is gonna depend on your situation. If you can only monitor in headphones, if you cannot use speakers when you're working, say you've got kids and you're working at night or you've got neighbors who won't put up with any noise, well, it's gonna be a great investment to spend some money on some quality studio headphones, and that is definitely what these are. When it comes to the Creator 24 pack, the DT240 Pro headphones, yeah, very nice. They are clearly designed for mobile recording and for studio work and that kind of thing, but I did take them out and DJ with them. They've held up very well, but for me, the star of that pack is the Fox. So simple, plug and play, USB, you can go into a regular USB or USB-C. It just works and it sounds fantastic with no tweaking. I've used it for my voiceovers now for months. My home studio is in the roof, the acoustics are terrible, but with the Fox, I don't have to do any post-processing whatsoever. I just turn it up and then limit it, that's it. That's all I ever do. So this thing, yeah, absolutely worth its weight in gold as far as I'm concerned. And overall, you know, three products from a company with a long history in audio recording gear, and I can see why they've got the reputation they have. This is all quality stuff. Thank you for watching today. Make sure you're subscribed and you hit that bell icon down below to get notified anytime there's a new video from myself or the rest of the DJ City team. I'll see you soon.